Hey beautiful people, so I'm assuming you already saw part one, if not, you've probably already seen the video of Olympian, Kim Glass. Beautiful girl, just out having dinner with some friends. Nice area, appeared to be safe. However, unfortunately, she encountered a jealous Dusty. And it's very sad, it's horrific. Remember the jingle, uh, one of the old jingles, if you're not uh, new to the channel. Beware the angry black man. Remember that jingle? Let me slow it down. Beware the angry black man. He's good at throwing him hands. Yeah, this is why. He'll come for you. You don't even know this dude. Go upside your head. Lay down. Play dead. Beware the angry black man. Please have your gun in hand. Beware the angry black man. Please have your gun in hand. He'll come for you. I don't even know this dude. Go upside your head. Lay down. Play dead. Beware the angry black man. Please have your loaded gun in Hi. Yes. Well, this is why I came up with it. People say, oh, that is so bad. Well, guess what? When women or children are attacked and murdered, that's worse than a jingle. It's sad. Look at this girl. Beautiful girl. And she said the way he, I guess, rushed up to her and the look that he gave her. And I thought about it. Not surprised. See, this is why when a lot of minorities, black people in particular, when they do well, I was telling someone, when you have money, you can, I understand it's your family and you've told them about your good fortune, you just messed up. They're going to be looking at you as an end all be all. Oh, yes. You can solve my problem. Looking at this girl, I think when he saw her, he saw besides a beautiful black woman and him being a homeless man, part of the uh, most conquered group, collectively speaking, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. But I think he saw her as a beautiful black woman, and she's in that area, dressed so nice and pretty, and he knew that obviously she has done well for herself. And out of all these people, I'm sure there's a bunch of white people in that area, you think? I'm sure there are some. Out of all those people in that nice area, he didn't pick a white man, not because uh, he respect him. And for the Dusties and for the Mammies, I'm not saying, oh, so she's saying us to go up there and attack some white man. No, listen, learn to listen for the ones that's a little bit special. Because I notice sometimes I, people try to really go there with something so stupid. It's like, really, are you, are you really that stupid? So the point that I'm making is, I'm sure he saw some uh, Caucasian people there, Becky and Brad, but he didn't go to them and attack. Of course not. Number one, he's scared. Yeah. Dusties love to attack. Dusties of any nationality, they love to attack women and children. But speaking of the chocolate drop that was on the ground with the receding hairline, he's not going to attack a white man that's doing what it could be. He, he could see a white man hop out of a, Lam, a Lambo or hop out of a Rolls Royce. He would never attack. No. Because Dusties have warped thinking, low self esteem, too many mammy biscuits being digested. Dusty's like that. And I hate to tell you, in the BC, a lot of our people think that way because they're down and out. They think everyone who looks like them, who shares the same hue, the same color of skin, should be in the same predicament. No, no, baby boom. Mm -mm. Maybe you haven't applied yourself. And some don't know what wealth looks like. Some people walk around here with a whole lot of money in a regular car regular clothes on you would think that's the broke joke no that's the one with the money honey sometimes just people do that but um he would my point is he would never attack a white man or he could see becky not saying to attack her he would never take attack because he know somebody that he gonna catch those white hands they don't play with you sitting up for disrespect and attacking no women you might see your last day 
The other thing is, he respects them. And, sad to say, a lot of our people are so ignorant, they really think, oh, well, them white folks got money. Yeah, that's them that deserve it. I never ever seen my white person has money. There's Look at uh, Boo and Cooter. And some of them have money too, but not everybody has money. The point is, a lot of our people have some kind of thinking that success and money and wealth only belongs to white folks. And when they see a black person, and you may spell that, oh, hell no, they're angry. There's that anger. That's why, I'm, if you saw in the video, how she said he came, you know, kind of came at her. Yeah. He saw pretty black woman, nice figure, nice pretty dress. This sister looking like she got some money. I ain't got none. And nobody gave me none. And no one gave it to her either. She earned it. That's how a lot of them think. I really believe that. That's how a lot of them think. Unprovoked. You mad about your life circumstances? It might be the decisions that you made. Takes a pipe and hits the girl. And my heart goes out to her. Does these bring drama? They bring hell of trauma. The financial implications, the emotional implications, psychological, it's too much dust in a nation. Let's talk about that. So look at her face. Here she is. Look at look at her nose. Look at that. Look at her eye. Beautiful girl. Let's talk about, besides the psychological damage being around Dusty's, and don't worry, when they decide to really de-dust, it's going to get to a point I, uh, they may you know, make a move on society with regards to the dust buckets. The, I think when a move is made, it's going to be very severe, and we're going to have so many stories like this here that no one's going to want to interfere. Mammies, you won't be able to hold this one down. Mammies can't hold the line. When they decide that enough is enough, it's hard to indeed us to make a drastic move. We're going to have so many stories like this one here. You're not going to have people standing up trying to interfere. Oh, no, we've got to put this. No, no, no. They're going to be, it's, it's, it'll pretty much be like, hey, it's about time. So look at this beautiful girl. Just having dinner. What if, let's say the next day, she had a photo shoot for a modeling gig. Or maybe she had a speaking event. Maybe she could be a, could, could be a write-up in a news article, in a magazine, a photo spread. Do you think this will be gone within 24 hours? Do you think it will be gone within 24 hours? So what if she had a photo spread or a modeling gig planned? Speaking out of business engagement. Dusty's bring drama, they bring trauma. The financial implications, it would have to be called off. And our people, some of our people are so darn stupid. Do you not understand? It has to be caught off because of one Dusty. She might miss the opportunity to make some money. Aside from that, I'm really saying that our people don't understand that life is, they don't understand business. And life is business and that's what I'm feeling at it. Not, okay, so it's called off. That means if they got a space fitted out, that's called off. Hotel reservations for her. Maybe a manager entourage, that's called off. Makeup people, wardrobe, called off. The interview, the photography, all the stuff being set up. The lights, we're going to got th this plate this plate over here. We're going to go over here. All that will be ruined. Why? Because some inferior low-performing dust bucket black man. And I'm very thankful that the young black man came, heard a scream, and did the right thing and held that dust down. So the cops came. But one dusty, one dust bucket. See what he can cause? The whole production be shut down. A makeup artist go home. But I'm here now. Don't need you. Why? A dusty Negro on the ruin the show. These are the things that I want to talk about. Whether it's, it used to be the same whether it's two or three, and I'm going to apply it to dusties. You don't want to be, well, it's just one. You might want to have your gun. Think about it. She would have missed an opportunity. And all the people around the event, all counsel. Why? Because of some low performing dust bucket. And I and I don't want to hear about, oh, we had a bad staff. Hell, join the club. 
I can't say I really had a bad start. My family is um, pretty much middle class, but there's no excuse. Heck, I've been grown and, and been broke money low. I have been married and go from living high life for the maid and all that got so bad. We may have been living in a high rise in a gated community. Look downstairs. Oh, yeah. This is very nice. Look at the cars and stuff. Got to a point, our money got low. Oh, yeah. I was a housewife depending on a husband. Got to a point, yeah, I couldn't afford the cable bill. Might have been sitting them in some chairs. They cost $2,500 a piece. Got to a point, cheaper is going to have to cut down on that cable bill. And cable is not expensive. That was an awakening for me. So then after being on my own, and you know, I was able to make some life's money. Hmm. I have never lived so cheap that I do now. But guess what? I make sure I have investments. So I don't want to hear about a sad story. Heck, we all could have one. We all could have one. We got so low. I said it before. My ex-husband was asking about my Chanel bags. Oh, the hell, I think not. And it was because you're going to worry about the Friday night. No. It's because we needed the money because things went that bad with a hedge funds manager. Yeah. So been there, done it. I don't want to hear your sob story. I got one of my own. And you persevere. And you keep on going. Good and bad days, life goes on. In this community, we often in the BC always more than likely will side with ignorance and degeneracy. Oh, that man. Oh, forget about the black woman. Forget about her. Think out of all those people, he chose a black woman. You didn't even choose a man. He chose a black woman. I think he saw her and figured out she has a nice living, and that's when that hatred. And jealousy is very strong. It's very dangerous. But born if you but if you are a black person and you encounter another black person, child, you might as well be dealing with 10 members of the of the clan. Oh, we'll go out of our way. Look at this. To hurt this beautiful black woman, he risked his well-being. I'll go to jail. But long as I heard her though. See, Poppy thought because we're the least respected and unprotected, he was going to be able to run and get away. But see, he didn't have a dust bucket black man right now. He had another black man around that respect more, that respects women. And saw what happening and say, let me get my phone out, get my camera out. And so he ran that away. I got him on camera. He's a homeless person. I mean, in Los Angeles, I believe. What's the chance of them catching him? He's probably been doing this when they getting away with it. He, you know, run. A homeless camp? Are you kidding? They're not going to spend all uh, uh, man hours to chase this fool down. One of many. Do you think it's the first time he's done it? No, he's probably been doing it and getting away with it. But he did it to this young woman here. And he came across a black man and wasn't having it. Today was your day. You, you're going to see what, what real men look like. And hailed him till the police came. You walking around with a pipe every day? He's probably didn't been doing this and getting away with it. So thing, you are so angry. Why are you angry at her? You are so angry. You risk your freedom on hit, hit her in the eye with a pipe. You're that angry? You know, she doesn't know you from a can of paint. You're obviously not in her world. You're in a homeless man land. I'm making fun of it, but come on. You're a low performing man. Why would you do that? Again, when you're a black person, and you have something, jealousy can abound with anyone. But boy, you come across a jealous black person, a jealous of you, woo! Watch out, boo. Buy the block? I think not. Only way if I had the money to buy the block in the BC, you better hire somebody that don't look like me. Hire somebody that's of another nationality and they might stand a chance. But we see you on the block and you look like me, that they might just try to set the block on fire. You bought all those houses, better give them short real quick. Oh, real quick, because word gets out. I remember seeing an episode on the Shea Show. Uh, he does the, what do you call this? The rental or eviction things. And I remember him buying a property. And I guess the prior owner was a white man. And he met, introduced himself, and there was a black woman leasing it. Um, day one, here she, he is talking about um, her paydays get funny, yada, yada, yada. Been staying there for quite some time, it seems. She saw the black men now own the property. 
I don't need some payment arrangement. It was like, oh my gosh, just pay your rent, idiot. I was like, why? What's the big deal? And see my paycheck. Well, how you been paying a white man all this time staying here? Oh, it's a black man. Guess what? The fool moved out on him. That's black and stand for you. The things we don't want to talk about. Well, you can't hear from them unless you address it. If that's you, you might want to try to think of uh, operating uh, something brand, brand new. It's not healthy. She moved out. You know what it was? The rent didn't go up. It was the same. No, she moved out because she's a poor black woman and ignorant. And I ain't seen, I, I, I can't seek enough black men some money on. Black people are some of the biggest white supremacists you ever want to see. They just don't have the robe on, the hoodie. They don't have the, the, the sheet on. That's the only thing. Some of the big white supremacists you want to see are people that look and sound like me. I hate to tell you, but it's true. She was attacked by who? The clan or she was attacked by a black man? What did he gain? What did he gain? Um, I would not help a homeless person. I'm sorry, sorry unless it's a woman. You know, you have a couple of dollars. A man? Oh, hell no. It's not worth it, ladies. What did Godfrey say? You're traumatized by the ang anger of a black man or the actions of a black man. You think? If you don't think this is trauma, I don't know what to tell you. She's been traumatized by a black man. What did he gain from this? You want to put all your failures on women, low performing men. And then they stand outside big and ladies keep on walking. Hold you. Don't 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 stop. Keep it moving. Don't forget that saying, was it Les Brown? Where you are today, you made an appointment to be there. I agree. His being locked up in a prison, he made an appointment to be there when he hit her in the head with that pipe, like a savage animal that he is. Oh my gosh, I hope he doesn't walk out of there. I hope he doesn't walk out of there. If his ticker stops, that's fine with me. I don't care if he drops. Ooh, I'm just, oh my gosh. But this is what happens. And then you wonder why, what could come to the hood and do something? Oh, I don't know, they kind of like surviving. Yeah, that's probably the reason it won't come to the hood. They kind of like surviving, you know, keeping your eye in tech. Let me know what you guys think. It's just heartbreaking. Can't go out to dinner. Dusties. Having drama and trauma. The financial implications. It's too much stuff in the nation. And here's a sad thing. Trying to hurt this girl. I'm sure she'll recover. She's strong. She's beautiful. At the end of the day, for any black person, I'm speaking specifically to the BC, whenever you try to tear down your own, look in the mirror and think about what you've done. What have you accomplished? You are nothing but a low self-esteem. You need some help. You are nothing but an ignorant person be it male or female, black man or woman, that essentially works for the clan. And I'm out.